Hey guys and welcome to Rise of Scale. So today we're going to be talking about three insane GenSpark use cases that will allow you to create amazing, amazing directories like this one with a featured image, location and details, description and features, categories, reviews and ratings, links to the website or Google Maps rather. You will also be able to create these amazing one-click blog posts that have featured images, table of contents, video, infographics, and are over 2000 words long. And finally, you'll be able to create these amazing reports that you can use as lead magnets all inside of Genspark. So stay tuned. Okay, first things first, what is Genspark? Genspark is a Chinese web interface that has some crazy underlying technology. It allows you to use multiple agents like Genspar super agent that is capable of calling other agents along the way. You have a agentic deep research, you have agentic fact check. This Genspark thing you can actually make calls for you. And there are some amazing, amazing basic agents that do images, generate videos, do constant translation. And the craziest thing is that this is free. You get 200 credits per day that you can spend. So the first use case is this amazing blog post. Now, when I first realized that Genspark could do that, I went crazy. I featured an image that has a very robust, very detailed table of contents that works. It has a video that is highly relevant to the content because the content is about passing AI detection. It has infographics in multiple places. It has these visual elements that stand out. It's just formatted in a very readable, highly engaging way. It has a very short conclusion, key takeaways, final thoughts, like everything that we like in the blog posts. Very short introduction. However, there is caveat. You might have noticed that the uh, text in the video is off, that the wording is slightly off. If you look closer at the uh, infographics, you will see that the text is actually lorem ipsum placeholder. But this is, to my knowledge, the only LLM that can do that in one click and has huge potential. You can use it as is and then just substitute infographics or correct the wording. And I think that even as is, this is extremely powerful. And you'll be surprised even more when you know what the underlying prompt is. So I will take you back to the chat. And I actually went ahead and used my sequence prompt ideology for this. All the prompts are going to be in my free ChatGPT library, link down below. So the prompt went, I want you to perform the following steps one by one in a sequence. Do not start steps ahead of time and don't skip ahead. So step one is to analyze the top ranking articles for the target keyword. Mine is how to avoid AI content detection. Follow these steps, competitor analysis, content effectiveness, search intent evaluation, content metrics, content gap analysis. This one is extremely important. Optimized outline development. And I'm asking Genspark to output the final result as a robust, detailed outline designed to clearly structure the content for outranking the competition. So this essentially does everything as far as research, identifies content gaps, look at what's working for the competitors, and gives you the best possible outline that will outrank your competition, provided the other hygienic factors like domain rating, like the backlinking pro profile is identical. Then it actually writes the article. So step two is to write a detailed 3000 word article based on the above outline. When writing, remember to, and this is my personal brand voice, use simple English, Write clearly, ask rhetorical questions, lay out your contents logically, show your personal stories and examples, use formatting like bold or italics as well as relevant emojis. And finally, in the step two, complement the blog post with the eye-catching infographic and a featured image and a short video. I wasn't ready for the Genspark to tick all these marks, but it did. It created the infographic, too, if I'm not mistaken, a couple. And then I'm asking to embed everything in a single readable HTML code, the one that you see on the screen. And you can just copy and paste this into WordPress, embed everything. Use case number two is one of my favorite ones. It has to do with deep research. What you want to do is to run a couple of prompts once again. The first one is a deep research comprehensive report prompt. And what I like about this prompt, it audits the sources before doing anything. So before generating the report, I want you to audit the sources that you base your report on. Only include highly relevant sources, cross-reference facts. Make sure you're using varied sources, including video and Reddit threads. Give more weight 
to video and social content give one way to more recent data. The topic of the report is how to invest in meme coins in 2025. And this goes into all this trouble, Reddit, YouTube, to compile a very robust report. And as you can see, it did the source audit. So before creating the report, I conducted a comprehensive audit. Here are the key findings, highly relevant sources included, recent videos from crypto experts, current Reddit threats, from active traders, official SES statements and financial news, excluded sources, outdated articles pre-2024, promotional content, cross-reference facts, source variety, video content, included in-depth analysis from educational channels like Orange Web3 and Jesse Echo, social content, incorporated recent Reddit threats, official sources, and weighting and sources. Greater weight was given to video and social content for strategies and practical advice. Now you're going to be running a second prompt. Analyze the above data and create a visually appealing and informative infographic using HTML, inline CSS, custom SVG, and chart JS. The infographic should be responsive and include a bar chart or other appropriate visualizations. Ensure the adaptability to various screen sizes and blah blah blah. And this created this report that you can just view. Again, uh, you can download the code or you can straight export as a PDF and use this as a lead magnet. So straight from Genspark. And this is an amazing lead magnet right here. Last but not least, I live in Argentina right now and I have two kids. So I'm very interested in this topic, which is children's playgrounds slash parks in Buenos Aires. And there is not a lot of information and I found that very few sites existed on the matter. So this is what I got from Genspark. Again, you get a featured image, you get a link to Google Maps, you get a dress, working hours, free or paid, best for families with children of all ages, picnics, outdoor activities. You get a description, very short, you get pros, extensive green areas, rear front views, cons, far from the city center, can get very crowded on weekends, and you get some categories. So what this, so basically any amenities or features this place has, like shade trees, water, picnic areas, skateboarding areas, slides, swings, volleyball courts, wheelchair accessible, you get the average rating. So let's just show you how accurate this is. The average rating is 4.45 based on 43,000 reviews. So let's go. And as you can see, this is exactly 4.5, 43,318 reviews. So 10 reviews since we created this directory. But this is amazing. So James Park was able to read everything in here and even got a couple of user comments. And the way it worked is as follows. I went with a pretty simple prompt, create a CSV with all the children playgrounds in Buenos Aires, along with ratings and user comments. Make sure to actually read the reviews to introduce criteria for each of the playgrounds that will be evaluated against, like access to water, sunshade, safety, size of the playground, closeness to traffic. And again, this is conditional, so Genspark will actually come out with their own features. Make sure to output as name, location, working hours, quick description, pros and cons, best for, free or paid, features, average rating, number of reviews, website link if applicable, featured image, and you can use this link. And basically this link is me going to Google Maps and typing in English, which is not the best way to type. So for better results, I uh, should have typed in Spanish. I would have gotten more results, but this was for testing purposes only. So I basically said about ground kids, sparks and playgrounds. And this is what I got. And it went ahead and created a huge CSV like this one. This was the output. So everything was there except for a couple of things. So I noticed that and I went back to chat and set at place on the map via Google Map link. Also, I'm not seeing any featured images. In and actually redid everything. It gave me another CSV version. And this time it created an HTML. It wasn't intentional. When everything was done, I just said, give me a templated prompt for me to use on other entities. So this is a templated prompt that depended on your niche and your business will give you directories like this that you can put into bold.new, into lovable and create 
whole websites around. Once again, all the prompts are going to be in my free ChatGPT library down below. Also, I have an active school community which will contain all these Jamspark prompts and additional workflows. So go check it out. We also have some insane automations. We have the whole helpful content mastery course, the niche hunter course, the tax immunization academy. We have custom tools on offer for our members and lots more is to come. So hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time. Cheers.